Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be a Igari inspired makeup. I did a coquette one for my last one, but this one's gonna be Igari and I hope you guys enjoy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, I'm getting ready for work and yeah, we're gonna do another get ready with me. I really like making these videos. I love doing my makeup. It's like my favorite part of the day. So I didn't do my skin here yet, but we're gonna do it right now. And this video is going to be another voiceover because I running short on time and I do not have time to talk right now. So I'm going to do a voiceover. Y'all know the deal with my skincare. I always use toner first, then I go in with the serum. And then actually for this makeup look, I tried two new creams. I tried out the eye cream and then the face cream. And I think after using it for like two weeks now, I think I might just incorporate that into my nighttime routine and stick with the daily moisturizer in the morning because the face cream is pretty thick and I don't really like how it sits underneath my makeup. But it's a really good night cream, you know, to like hydrate my face when I'm sleeping. I actually like to do my skincare before I dry my hair to let my skincare have time to set on my face. And y'all like this new hair tool I got for Christmas. Like, it's so cute. Also, look how beautiful and shiny and, like, brilliant my hair looks. Like, look how beautiful. Also, my hair got lighter. I don't know why. I feel like my hair got lighter or it looks lighter now than it did before, but whatever. Now we're going to go on to base. And I swear by this combination, I always use the Hello Glow filter with the um satin flawless foundation like this mixture is like chef's kit it's so beautiful i love how it sits on my face and the formula of these two mix gives like light to medium coverage so it's like a step up from i would say tinted moisturizer so if you guys are looking for like a full coverage i want to recommend but if y'all like the coverage it's giving me, then I would recommend it. I also found out while filming this that my Hello Kitty mirror like, had a design on the actual mirror on the inside because the cover low-key looks dirty, so I was like, I'm going to take this off. And then y'all can see my reaction because I was like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't know this was here. And I low-key like it without the cover now, so I don't know. But look how cute it is. It even has like a little Hello Kitty head on the handle. I also got Hello Kitty makeup brushes for Christmas. Look how cute they are. Love it. Now I want to powder my face. Elf powder. Love how it sits on my face. It's wonderful. I don't bake. I just kind of just take a fluffy brush and put it on the areas. That I'm not going to put blush or contour on. So my forehead, down my nose, and my chin. Now I'm going to go on to blush. And I'm going to place that right underneath my eye. Honestly, blush placement really depends on someone's face shape. So I have a rounder face. And I like to keep my blush towards the center or right underneath my eye to just really um like focus in on the center of my face instead of like how round my actual face is it also brightens up my face a bit now i'm just gonna set the cream blush with a powder blush it's really light very light color powdered blush and it kind of brightens up my face a bit because i do have very dull features now we're gonna move on to eyes, my favorite part, because I love doing my eyes. I think for a lot of my makeup looks, the eyes are like the key point. So right now I'm just gonna contour my nose out a little bit. And then I'm gonna do a base color for my eyes. And I'm gonna take this pink and put that in my crease and I fluff it out a bit. And then I wanna bring it underneath my eye and blend it into my blush a bit so it looks like it's connected and now i'm gonna take this dark brown color and tight line my eyes 
and also add in a bit of dimension in my inner corner and my crease and then I want to make the bottom of my eyes look a little puffy Okay, now we're gonna curl our lashes and do mascara. I kind of did my eyes very out of order, but we don't talk about it for this. I was running out of time. So, here's a tip for my straight lash girlies. So when I curl my lashes and I put mascara on, I don't pull my mas I don't put my mascara on all the way down to the root. It's actually only the to the top parts where my eyelashes are showing when I like open my eyes. You know. Because the bottom, like the roots, is where the curl is. So you want your curl to be, like, to hold all day. So I don't put it in the root. And ugh, my lashes have been curled for, like, a good, like, 10 hours, I would say. Now I'm going to take this black liner and, like, tight line my eye. I never do black liner. But for this look, I'm going to do black liner. And then I'm going to draw a little wing out. You see? Like that. And then I'm going to take this dark shadow and eyeshadow and feather out my eyeliner. And then add a line underneath my eye. You see? What I'm doing right there kind of elongates the bottom part of my eye. Now we're going on to glitter. I love glitter. And this is a really subtle glitter. You can see how like that that subtly, like su subtly, subtly, subtle. It highlights like just the right amount. Like it's not too much, but it's not too little too. And now I wanna add, touch up my blush a bit because I lost a bit of color. And I really like going in with like a small fluffy brush to get really precise on my blush placement. Now I'm going to do my brows. Brows is always like the simple, most simple step for me. I just do a brow tint. Now I'm going to do the lashes. And for the girlies that have, again, shorter eyes like mine, I like to cut my lashes and then place them in particular places. I actually glue my lashes underneath my lid and then I take the back of my tweezers and I just like push them up a bit. a few touch-ups now I'm gonna go on to lips I went with a semi matte lip with this look so I'm putting down this mauve shade first slightly overlining my lips and I'm gonna go in with this red lip tint to add a bit of depth to my lips lips always pull my look together add more color into my brows because I feel like my brows are too light compared to like everything else but also I think I suit lighter brows like I don't think I suit like the dark brow some people can pull off a really really good dark brow but I really can't and I'm gonna take this brown eyeliner and like elongate my inner corner a bit and sharpen it up And that is the finished look. Here's footage of me on the way to work. But if there's anything else you guys want to see, please tell me. And here's a little OOTD that I wore to work. And I'll see you guys in the next one.